Hello student, my name is Bhagyadip Kalal. Welcome to the my online lecture series of refrigeration and air conditioning. Today, uh, I will discuss the numerical based on bell Coleman cycle that is the comes in chapter number 3. So, we discuss today uh, problems based on bell Coleman cycle or Joule cycle or first problem number first that is a numerical number 1 in bell Coleman refrigeration plant. First see which cycle is asked a numerical asked that is a, a bell coleman refrigeration plant okay first of all underline this bell coleman refrigeration plant the air is drawn from cold chamber at one bar at one bar and 15 degree centigrade and compressed to six bar that means it is a one to two process from initially at uh, initially the air is at one bar and temperature of air that is a 15 degree centigrade and it compressed the in compressor is up to six bar then air is cooled to 28 degree centigrade in a cooler or we can say heat exchanger in a cooler or heat exchanger before expanding in the expander to the cold chamber pressure of one bar okay next is the compression and expansion process are isentropic the most important line which is given in the numerical that is the compression and expansion process are isentropic calculate first cop of plant second refrigeration effect per kg refrigeration effect per kg that means mass of air is taken as a 1 kg assume for air gamma that is a index isentropic index gamma for air that is a 1.4 and the cp specific heat at constant pressure for air is 1.005 kilojoule per kg kelvin now given data first one is a p1 pressure initial pressure is one bar before entering the compressor that is a one to two process that is a one bar p2 is a 16 bar that is after compression that is a process one to two there is a two point two is p2 is 16 bar t1 is 15 degree centigrade converted into the kelvin so we add 273 kelvin so now 286 kelvin t3 t3 is a temperature after the temperature after the cooler that is 28 degree centigrade that is equals to 301 kelvin so 228 plus 273 is equals to 301 kelvin now this all the data uh, so in showing so in the this graph that is ts diagram without ts diagram we cannot solve the numerical because of some mistakes are done can be done okay first of all that uh, one to two process that is a isentropic compression process that is one condition at point 1 is given condition at point 2 is given and temperature t3 is a given now we use this isentropic equation for the compression because by using of this equation we calculate the four temperature that is a t1 t2 t3 and t4 now t1 and t3 temperature are given so now we calculate t2 and t4 so how to calculate t2 for calculation of t2 we using isentropic compression process for air t2 by t1 is equals to p2 by p1 raised to gamma minus 1 by gamma the value of gamma is 1.4 the p2 is a 16 bar and p1 is equals to 1 bar and t1 is equals to 286 kelvin so put all the values and we obtain the t2 value t2 is 480.53 kelvin so first of all we calculate the temperature t2 similarly same as a same method we calculate the t4 by using because of 3 to 4 processes isentropic expansion process or in expander or we can say in a turbine process so turbine is a isentropic expansion process so we use t3 by t4 is equals to p2 by p1 raised to gamma minus 1 divided by gamma so we calculate the t4 how t4 we, we know the value of t3 p2 and p1 gamma minus 1 by gamma gamma is 1.4 so finally we obtain value of t4 that is a 180 0.40 kelvin so our aim is calculate the four temperature t1 which is given t2 we calculated t3 which is given and t4 we calculated that is a 180.40 now we calculate the refrigeration effect now we calculate the refrigeration effect refrigeration effect per kg of air so for this we use formula cp t1 minus t4 cp t1 minus t4 or where where we obtain a refrigeration effect 
refrigeration effect is obtained in cooler or evaporator or we can say heat exchanger where our desired or our aim is fulfilled that is a refrigeration effect so formula is m cp delta t but m is 1 kg cp is given 1.005 t1 which is also given 286 and t4 <coughs> we already calculated 180.84 so put all the value and we obtain refrigeration effect that is a 108.13 kilojoule per kg of air similarly we next calculate work supplied to the compressor per kg of air so for 1 kg how much amount of work supplied to the compressor same we use here a steady flow energy equation for compressor that is a work done on compressor that is a cp t2 minus t1 cp t2 minus t1 we put all the temperature value and cp is 1.005 and we obtain we obtain 193.49 kilojoule per kg of air we put all the value t2 we already calculated 480.53 t1 288 cp is 1.005 okay sorry here is 1.005 okay so obtained value is 193.49 kilojoule per kg of air now work obtained from turbine because turbine is used or expander is used we obtain some work from turbine and this work is supplied to the compressor okay so work of turbine is cp t3 minus t4 so work of turbine 1.005301 minus 180.40 is equals to 121.203 kilojoule per kg of air this much amount of work we obtain from turbine for 1 kg of air this turbine work is supplied to the compressor okay so net work we given to the system is w expand uh, w of compressor minus w of turbine compressor work minus turbine work so net work is 193.4 times minus 121.203 is equals to 72.28 kilojoule per kg of air now cop is what cop is we already uh, studied in lecture of introduction what is the cop cop is the ratio of refrigeration effect to the work or supplied to the compressor or w net w net is w compressor minus w turbine so we obtain 108.13 divided by 72.28 that is a 1.49 that is the cop of system given system which is given system for cop is 1.49 Four nine. This is our numerical. Okay. So this numerical, if ask only COP, then we all uh, we can also done by directly using a formula of COP in terms of pressure ratio. That is the COP is equals to one divided by P two minus P one raised to gamma minus one by gamma minus one. We use directly pressure ratio is given. Gamma is given. So we can also use the COP formula directly. But so ask. This uh, numerical ask in uh, less marks like 3 marks and 4 marks so we done directly okay no required to use this uh, all the process. So next numerical example number 2 a dense air refrigerator operating on a bell column and cycle works between 3 bar and 15 bar works between 3 bar and 15 bar that is a pressure ratio is given that is a p2 by p1 that is a 15 by 3 that is a 5 the pressure ratio is 5 the temperature of air inlet after the evaporator after the evaporator compressor is start that is a before compression that is a point number 1 is given and after cooler after cooler that means a point number 25 degree and 20 degree respectively the evaporator extract 2000 kilojoule per minute of heat from the space the, if the work of evaporator the amount of heat that is extract from desired place by evaporator that is a 2000 kilojoule per minute of heat from the space where we want to cool the place okay now calculate first amount of air required in the cycle per minute that means how much amount of air is circulated in the cycle per minute just note that per minute not per second or per hour so it he uh, it asked the per minute amount of air required in the cycle that is a per minute second point is for calculation that is a power required to run the system power required to run the system that is a uh, obviously work of compressor the compressor network of compressor third one is a cop of the system fourth is a mass flow rate of water per minute in the cooler that is the different things that is different thing asked in this numerical that is a mass flow rate of water per minute in the 
polar. For this, the if rise in the temperature of water is 20 degree, the rise in temperature, that is a temperature difference, rise in the temperature is 20 degree. Suppose we can say 30 degree temp initial temperature in cooler and final temperature is 50 degree, that is the difference is 20 degree. So it asks that, it gives that the rise in temperature of water is 20 degree in cooler or heat exchanger. Okay. Next, assume isentropic compression and expansion. Both the processes are isentropic compression and isentropic expansion. Cp is 1.008. Sometimes it different. Generally, the value of Cp is 1.005 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. But here in the numerical is given that 1.008 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Gamma for the air 1.4 and for water Cp is 4.18 kilojoule per kg. Now start the numerical. Before starting the numerical, we write the given data, initial uh, given data. P1 is 3 bar, P2 is 15 bar, T1 is 5 degree centigrade converted into Kelvin, that is a 278 Kelvin. T3 is a 20 degree centigrade, that is in converted into Kelvin, 293 Kelvin. Now we draw first TS diagram, put the all the temperature pressure values, T1, T3, P1, P2. So first of all that, we work that calculate all the temperatures T1, T2, T3 and T4 but in the numerical T1 is given, T3 is given. So main work is calculation of temperatures T2 and T4. How to calculate temperature T2? By using of isentropic compression process equation in the compressor that is the T2 by T1 is equals to P2 by P1 raised to gamma minus 1 by gamma. By using of this equation we calculate the temperature T2 at the outlet of compressor that is a T2 is equals to we put the, all the values from given data 278 15 by 3 1.4 minus 1 divided by 144 1.4 now the value of T2 is 440.30 Kelvin okay now next <coughs> is calculate the temperature T4 at the outlet of expander outlet of expander or turbine so three to four process is isentropic expansion process in a turbine so how to calculate by using of isentropic expander equation that is a t3 by t4 is equals to p2 by p1 raised to gamma minus 1 by gamma so put all the temperature values and gamma and pressure ratio we obtain t4 that is a 184.99 kelvin Okay. Next, amount of air circulated through the cycle. That is a calculation first point. We calculate amount of air circulated through the cycle. In whole cycle, how much amount of air is circulated? We calculate here. First of all, refrigeration capacity. Okay. If refrigeration effect is given, that is a for 1 kg. But he gives the refrigeration capacity. So, we multiply mass mass of air. In previous numerical mass is taken as a 1 that is why we call refrigeration effect because we calculate for 1 kg. If it if it is calculated for whole plant so it is called refrigeration capacity. So formula is MCP T1 minus T4. Put all the values. Refrigeration capacity value is given that is a 2000 kilojoule per minute. So mass of air multiply into 1.00 8, that is a CP, T1 is 278 minus 184.98. So mass of air is calculated that is a 21.33 kg per minute, that is a mass of air. Okay. So first value we calculated mass of air 21.33 kilojoule a kg per minute, sorry kg per minute. Next, mass of air in second, if it is asked in second, the how we divided by 16. So, value is 0.355 kg per second. Now, work supplied to the compressor per kg of air. So, ma but uh, here we calculate total work, not for per kg. So, uh, work of compressor mass of air is Cp T2 minus T1. So, put all the value and we calculated work of compressor. So, final work of compressor is 58.159 kilojoule per kg of air. Okay. So, here we cannot write the per kg because of uh, already we put the value of mass. Okay. So, work obtained from the turbine on expander for per kg. Okay, so we obtained a value of 38.70 kilojoule per air. Now, net work of compressor. Net work we already know compressor work minus turbine work. Okay, W net 58.159 minus 38.75, 19.45 kilojoule per kg of air. But here we cannot write per kg of air, some mistakes here. 
per kg of air per kg of air because we calculated for the mass given mass that is a kg 0.355 we put the value of mass so uh, not required to write per kg okay so cop is refrigeration effect divided by w net so cop is obtained 1.71 now the most important thing or different thing from previous numerical is that amount of cooling of water required in the cooler in a cooler that means after compression after compressor how much amount of cooling water required in the cooler to obtain a desired temperature okay so here the diagram is showing that is heat exchange hot air after compression t2 is supplied in this pipe or tube and after then t3 cold air is supplied to the expander but the amount of his heat is transferred to this cold water the cold water coming from outside so it absorb heat from this hot air it absorb heat from hot air that is called a one type of heat exchanger and then after getting a heat it uh, out from hot water so here we apply a uh, energy equation heat lost by air in a cooler and heat gained by cooling water in a heat exchanger so we use formula m a mass of air cp t2 minus t3 is equals to m of water m w mass of water which absorb heat from air okay cp w specific heat of water and temperature difference that is a delta t that means both side we use mc delta t mc delta t. that means amount of heat lost by air and that much amount of heat gained by cooling water so we uh, put all the data 0.355 mass of air into 1.005 specific heat of air temperature t2 is 440.330 minus 293 is equals to mass of water into 4.18 4.18 is specific heat of water into 20 degrees centigrade because in the numerical is given that a rise in temperature that's why we directly use 20 here so finally mass of water we obtain 0.63 kg per second in heat exchanger 0.63 kg per second amount of water is circulated so in terms of minute that is a 37.88 kg per minute that is a mass of water circulated in this heat exchanger after compressor to obtain a desired temperature t3 okay this is our second numerical or second problem that is a different from numerical first thank you so much